Hello my friends, welcome to another watercolor tutorial. I'm, I should have decided this before I started painting, but I don't know what I'm painting. I'm deciding whether to do a landscape or these like florals for November. Uh, well, I better make a decision pretty quick because, uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's do some florals for November. I've been doing a lot of landscapes lately. Let's try something new. So I'm going to take, I'm going to try to stick to like what someone would associate with fall colors as we move into the period, the transition period between fall and Christmas. Um, so I have about like a maroon color on my brush right now. I don't even know what kind of flowers I'm going to be painting um, or where I'm going to paint them. Maybe I'll just start here and see where I go from here. So it's going to be some sort of like rose peony combination where I just paint these half circles that overlap one another. Uh, and I have quite a few floral tutorials on my channel, which I don't know if I'd recommend watching them because I'm not very good at florals. Uh, there are some watercolor artists on YouTube that, you know, they are amazing at flowers. Emma Lafay, Lafave, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Um, she's amazing. She's like the only person I've ever watched watercolor wise, and it was specifically for a floral tutor tutorial. So, um, yeah, that's my spiel. Uh, I kind of want to blend this together a little bit, swirl this. I don't know if you can hear like that kind of hush in the background, that, that murmur, but I have my baby monitor in front of me because my child is sleeping, so we'll see how long we can even, if we can even get through this tutorial. Um, I painted, if you recall back, I painted this, I mean, I painted it three hours ago in the, like at this time of filming, but uh, you will have seen this tutorial a few weeks back. It was the, um, the one with the pumpkins and the cup uh, and the blue blanket. So um, that one I filmed three hours ago and my baby woke up and I was like rushing to finish it. So let's hope that I can get through this one. So, so far this looks pretty bad as expected because I am really bad at florals. This is not a surprise. I'm still annoyed, but it's not surprising that this is looking bad. Um, maybe I t took a bit of brown into the maroon and I'm going to try to paint like a smaller version of this. attached to it. So I just released a tutorial, like I'm painting this in May, um, but I, a tutorial that was released in May, and right now I mean, um, it was a tutorial where I really tried not to talk about random things while painting. I just stuck to the instructions of the tutorial. And you guys are so nice. You're like, ah, oh, ignore the haters. And even one person said, I know you paint months in advance, so you won't see this for a while. Um, and I think that's so sweet. Like, you guys are awesome. Um, and to that person, sorry, I forget who it was that commented that. Don't you worry. That streak of not talking while painting didn't last very long because I got bored real quick. Um, and yeah, you're right. 
the people, if you don't want to hear me talk about random things, mute the camera um, or go, you know, find, there's so many tutorials on YouTube. I'm sure you can find one of somebody that just sticks to the instructions and does not add anything extra. Uh, okay, where are we with this? I want to write, okay, before I proceed with the flowers, which I'm really not loving, I do want to just write November. No. And then I'll go over that later. But yeah, I just wanted to have a little reference point for myself. Um, so now I'm taking brown. It's good to vary up the top, the like theme of your paintings. Like if you're somebody that really likes painting flowers, then it's good to paint landscapes once in a while. If you're somebody that paints landscapes and paint like a something specific like a flower or an animal or um, something that you wouldn't regularly paint because it's very easy to get stuck in the painting mode that you're in and then you lose skills that are necessary for other paintings so that's why i really even though i really don't enjoy painting flowers they, it makes me angry. Um, it is something that I still try to do semi-regularly to make sure that I don't lose the ability to create some kind of um, flower that looks like a flower. And what I found with these particular flowers to make them look a little less juvenile is to once they dry a little bit, take the same color that you used for the flower, but less watered down, and then just kind of go over the middle center portion a bit, and it'll bring out that center a little bit, make it look a little bit more intentional, I suppose. Um, you can even add black. I'll even add the black on the the red flowers here. Although that does not look that great. Oh boy. Uh, okay. So I also want to add like leaves or something coming off of this. I'll do that in a moment. I have this obsessive compulsive tendency. I'm pretty sure this is like an actual disorder. I looked it up. It has a very long name. I cannot stop pulling the hair out of my eyebrows. And I do it when I'm concentrating or when I'm stressed or anxious about something. Um, I just like start pulling at my eyebrow hairs and half of the time I don't even know I'm doing it and it's it's like it gives me this strange comfort to do it and uh, there's areas in my eyebrows that just don't have hair anymore and I've been doing this since university so oh my gosh it's been 12 years I feel so old <laughs> I feel so old saying that uh somehow i still have eyebrows um but i need to stop i need to get that under control especially now that i have a daughter like i don't want my daughter to see me pulling my eyebrow hairs out like get a grip julia get a grip um i have tried so many things over the years like there was a, a period where i would tape my eyebrows so that when I went to pull them I felt like there was tape there so I couldn't pull them out <laughs> once 
Once I got on a bus with the tape on my eyebrows because I forgot it was there. The people, people must have thought I was insane. Oh, good times. Good times. Ah, uh, teach us character, I tell ya. Um, yeah, that was back in, back in, during my university days. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, so, I've had people, like, my best friend, and then my cousins, and then my husband, like, have all tried to either like smack me, like not smack me, smack my hand away when I have, um, when I start picking. And it, that gets really annoying actually. I really did not enjoy when my husband did that for a while where he would like kind of whack my hand away from my eyebrows. Um, I asked him to, by the way, before people start saying things. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that. That was not a solution. It just made me angrier because once I was aware that I was picking my eyebrows, there's sometimes that I just want to pick my eyebrows because it gives me a bit of comfort. Um, it's such a weird habit. I don't know how it started, how that even came to be, but I got to stop doing that. I'm even doing that while painting right now. I'm not stressed. Well, maybe I'm a little stressed because I keep thinking my daughter's going to wake up. Um, I heard something. Okay, it's not my daughter. It's not my daughter. Why don't we... I wish I didn't paint this flower here. I wish I painted some sort of greenery, green foliage of some sort, but I mean, too late. So I am now going to take green. And we are, I'm gonna add a bit of red to the green. It's kind of like a brown color now. And we'll paint the foliage. Ooh, usually painting leaves this way does not work out for me, but for some reason today is a good day. My whole house is shaking. I feel like I should probably look out the window and see what's going on, but Priorities, I guess. Oh my god. That was not my house. I opened the door. Ah, oh, guys. I am my own worst enemy. It wasn't the house shaking. I have my own video on in the background in another room. And it was the sound of me tapping my brush against another brush. And it was so loud that I could hear it in the bathroom where I film. And then I looked at the baby monitor and my baby woke up, but I think she put herself back to sleep. So we might be in the clear. And you might be thinking, why on earth do you have your own video on? It's because I was reading comments and then the video just kind of plays in the background as I'm reading comments and then I went to go paint so I kind of forgot about it. Um, so you can paint whatever kind of foliage you want. This was actually not what I was intending. I was going for round leaves. I don't know how this came to be, but uh, it's what it is, I guess. Um, maybe this one will be a little bit rounder. Oh, shoot. I just realized I told my sister-in-law I was going to call her back once I put my baby to bed. But then I got distracted. But 
But my baby is also up. She's moving a lot. She's not crying yet. So maybe we might we might get lucky. She might fall asleep again. But I'm gonna have to pause this probably and go tend to her. She's teething and very unhappy at the moment. I do want to add some sort of something else to this. <sighs> it's not meeting my standards, but flowers rarely do because I'm so bad at them. Um, hmm. I'll have little, I don't even know what this is, these little decor pieces <laughs> coming out. Like, you know, baby's breath in flower bouquets? What, oh, that reminds me, I need to order a flower bouquet for my mom for Mother's Day. Costco had some beautiful bouquets at very nice, friendly prices. But yeah, babies, this is kind of similar to baby's breath, or at least that's the intention of it. And it definitely adds to the painting, I think. It kind of breaks up this, the monotony of all these flowers um, or the clusters of flowers. Doop, doop, boop, 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 boop. And the other thing I'm gonna do is line the petals of my foliage. Because this will give us like a two layered contrast. There is definitely something going on outside. There's like this really loud rumble. And I'm very curious. So that did a little bit for us, I believe. Now I have these beautiful metallic colors here, which I'm tempted to use. So I'm going to take a similar metallic color as to what I used and kind of circle. Maybe not, I don't know if I like that.
so now that these flowers have dried the centers are not as uh, dark anymore so I am going in with a bit of black to make them a bit darker but you can overdo it so just be careful that you don't and I'm gonna go in with uh, I'm gonna take this neon pink that I have and tap that on ah, actually I don't know if I like that that does not really work with the November theme so scratch that idea so now what we can do is paint the November like the word November, or you can write it. I often write it with a uh, with a marker or a pen or whatever. I have this. I'm trying my hand at calligraphy with this. Uh, trusty brush of mine. I wish I didn't do that. That does not look too good. So, not really a fan of how that ended up looking. <laughs> I'm gonna fix the M because the M looks quite bad. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of acrylic paint and adjust this. It's a bit better, but uh, I don't like how that turned out. Not a fan. It's also very grainy because I didn't have enough uh, water on my brush when I did this. I'm not going to tamper with that anymore. I'm going to leave it as it is. So this is not very nice in my opinion. I think what I would have done differently, what would have looked actually quite nice, is if I curved the November like this. If I wrote it kind of sideways. Technically I could do that in Photoshop or like using any program. It's just like erase that and then add that in and I might do that because this is not to my liking um but I hope you guys enjoyed this uh random floral painting uh we'll get back into our regular scheduled videos next week um or the next upload day thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit like subscribe comment your thoughts and I will see you in the next one